When Britta Marneau is out for a walk, she's not surprised to see a coyote in the neighborhood. She often warns others about them. She turned right around and I think I scared her because she really just darted back the other way. <laughs> this year, more coyotes than usual are being spotted in the GTA. Normally we would have 30 to 50 calls per year that come into the Animal Services Centre. And this year between January and March, we saw about 62 phone calls. In some areas, signs have been put up to alert Mississauga residents of a coyote sighting. Officials also held a public information session about the spike which they say is part of the natural population cycle. Normal populations of any of the wildlife in the city seem to go up and down and fluctuate and we seem to be on a bit of an increase right now. It's spring, um, they've just finished mating and they're getting ready to um, and may have pups already so this is a very active time period. Coyotes have been grabbing headlines as of late. Just last week, at a crime scene on Cherry Beach, a coyote was fatally shot by a police officer who said the animal was being aggressive. In January, an eight-year-old girl was chased and bitten by a coyote near her Oakville home. We could see the coyote like right behind us. And it was very scary. Coyotes are common in urban centers and have adapted to city life. As long as there's a food source, as long as there's denning sites for them, they're going to adapt to, to the lifestyle here. It's only when coyotes are feeding on garbage or where their natural behaviors are altered is, is when we see coyote and human conflict. Toronto Animal Services say they routinely find traces of cats in coyote scat, so keep pets close by or indoors. Don't let them roam around outside because coyotes can view them as as lunch. Proper storage of garbage and compost is the best way to protect your property. Never leave food out for them. Never encourage them near your property. Always chase them back into the bush. And we're live here at Cherry Beach, where over the years a number of coyotes have been spotted. And Animal Services says if you do encounter a coyote, don't turn your back on it and run. It'll only chase you. Instead, be as loud as you can, clap at it, and try to startle it away. But really, coyotes are a common sight in the GTA. And uh, we shouldn't be surprised to see them, especially with coyote numbers being at a three-year high.